Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, I wanted to provide an update on Volt Lithium. This one is formerly known as Allied Copper Corp. It's one that I'm personally invested in and they've had a ton of activity over the last couple of months that I wanted to discuss in today's video. Now before we get into that, please take a second, hit the like button you guys. It's a big help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comments section below if you're currently holding shares of Volt Lithium, if you were able to capitalize on the recent run we've seen in share price, and what your thoughts are on this stock compared to some of the other players in the lithium exploration space. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Volt Lithium Corporation and providing an update on this exciting high growth company. Now they trade here in Canada on the Toronto Venture Exchange under the ticker VLT. They also trade on the OTC in the United States under the ticker VLTLF. And as you can see here, this is as of close on Thursday, May 25th. They closed out the session at 50 cents Canadian, which as you can see in the one year view here is an impressive result considering this company was trading sub 10 cents Canadian in January of this year. Now, last time we covered Volt Lithium on the channel, it was actually trading under a different ticker and a different company name. So it was formerly known as Allied Copper Corporation, CPR on the Toronto Venture Exchange. And you can see at the time this video was put out, this was about two months ago, Allied Copper, AKA Volt was trading at about 24 cents Canadian. And we talked about the fact that this recent pullback you can see on the screen here may be presenting a great buying opportunity if you're looking for exposure to the lithium and lithium exploration space. So for those of you that watched that video and jumped in or took action at that point in time, you've essentially doubled your money over the last two months. And that's exactly what I've done with my position in Volt Lithium Corporation. Now, if we jump over to the corporate website, I'll leave this linked in the video description below. You can see Volt Lithium Corp is preparing for a greener tomorrow in the sense that they're sourcing these battery metals and materials that go into a lot of the green and EV technology that's really fueling this green revolution. Now, Volt is a lithium development and technology company. We're gonna talk about this proprietary technology in a second here, aiming to be North America's first commercial producer of lithium hydroxide and lithium carbonates from oil field brine. And this is really a key differentiator here is that they're aiming to be the first commercial producer. Now we've covered a lot of these lithium companies on the channel previously. They're all obviously looking to get into production at some point in time, but I think there's gonna be a major first mover advantage here and whichever company can prove out their technology and their extraction process first is gonna receive a lot of the attention and contracts from these automakers that are looking to source these materials, especially lithium in North America. Now the opportunity with Volt specifically, in my opinion, is multifaceted. And that's why I wanted to get this update video out because I think this company is still trading extremely cheap compared to their peers, especially when you start to look at the various different components that you're getting with an investment in Volt. So this again is a company that's focused on creating value for shareholders by becoming the first commercial producer in North America to produce both lithium hydroxide and carbonates from the oil field brine. And we talked about some of those existing oil field partnerships in our last video. However, you can see there's really four key pillars that are gonna uniquely position or differentiate Volt from the rest of the lithium production pack. So the first is that Rainbow Lake asset, which represents a world-class resource. We're gonna take a look at that again in a second here. The second point where we're gonna spend a lot of today's time is on their proprietary DLE or direct lithium extraction technology. The third point is the strategic partners, which include the oil and gas producer and the chemicals company with that leading laboratory, which we discussed in our last video. And then the fourth point is that clear path to production the results from their initial pilot project and the initial commercial production, which is now targeted for the middle of next year. Now with that being said, and as promised on the last slide, I wanted to spend the bulk of today's video talking about this proprietary DLE technology, because I feel like this is really where the disconnect is 
with the current market cap we're seeing with Volt Lithium compared to some of their peers. So Volt actually owns their own direct proprietary lithium extraction technology, which is known as DLE technology. And that's really focused on achieving the highest lithium recovery rates with the overall lowest costs or OPEX costs associated with that extraction activity. So if we continue to scroll down, you can see they actually break this down into two key steps. So the first step is the treatment of the brine itself. So they've got a proven system that's going to eliminate up to 99% of the contaminants from these existing brines that come out of the oil field. So you can see in partnership with Cabot Energy at their existing oil facility. And then the second step is going to be the DLE technology itself, which is an IES 300 technology that's able to recover up to 93% of lithium from this brine that's been treated. So you can see the visual here, really starting with the emulsion of that oil and brine out of the ground at the Cabot Energy facility. They then remove the oil that's trucked off. The brine or the remainder brine is sent for treatment, which is step one. They then go into step two, which is that proprietary DLE technology and the lithium, which is then able to be sold, is trucked off, you can see in the Volt truck on the right here, with the leftover and treated brine now being pumped back into the ground. So a very clean and green system here that provides additional value from the brine that's already being pulled from the earth. And this slide here gives a little bit more detail in terms of the actual lithium recovery rates. You can see the DLE technology has been proven to achieve 90% lithium recovery, at low yielding concentrations in the neighborhood of about 34 milligrams per liter. So obviously it's harder to extract lithium the lower that overall concentration is. And you can see as you move into higher concentrations such as 120 milligrams per liter, which is what they're actually seeing at their Rainbow Lake property, you're looking at recovery rates in excess of about 97%. However, they're still able to achieve industry leading low operating costs under $4,000 per ton at that 120 milligram per liter concentration. So essentially what this means in a nutshell is this proprietary DLE technology is very refined, allowing high recovery rates even with low concentrations, and it can be done for a fraction of the price of some of the other technologies that are currently in market. And this is actually a great tweet that I came across from Eric talking about a comparison between the OPEX cost per ton four various different DLE or direct lithium extraction technologies. So you can see Volt is coming in around $2,900 US. I've actually seen estimates as low as about $2,800 US for Volt compared to standard lithium, which is in the neighborhood of about 4,400 US for carbonate and 2,600 US for hydroxide. And the list really goes on from there, but you can see the general range is about three to $4,000 US per ton in terms of the actual overall OPEX cost associated with this extraction. Now this is where it gets super interesting. So it's rumored in the industry that grounded lithium is potentially looking at Coke as their DLE provider or to sign some sort of agreement with their technology. Now Coke is a giant in the space. If we take a look at their website, you can see that this company specializes in separation solutions. They have a lithium extraction process, very similar to what you're getting with Volt Lithium's proprietary technology. Theirs is branded under the Lee Pro or Lithium Pro trademark. And Coke is already being used by some of the biggest players in the lithium space, including Standard Lithium. And what's interesting is Coke actually has an 8% stake worth approximately $54 million US in Standard Lithium. So really gives you some perspective into the size and scale of these technology providers. In addition to that, another example is Lilac Solutions, which is being used by Lake Resources. So their technology is being harnessed by another player in the space. And they've actually done an earn-in agreement with Lake Resources to acquire about a 20% stake. They do have the ability to hit additional milestones up to a 25% stake in Lake Resources, and that's worth approximately $120 million US. So really gives good perspective here, and again, shows the value of the technology or the DLE solution provider in this lithium space. So in essence, this means that the stake in standard lithium and Lake by the DLE tech providers is higher valued than Volt or Volt's market cap altogether, which is currently trading in the neighborhood of about $35 million.
And again, what's really amazing here about Volt's technology is they're actually on par or beating the OPEX costs that we just talked about of these other brine technology companies. However, they're doing it on brines of much lower concentration. So in essence, no one else has been able to crack the code to have success on low concentration brines in any sort of mass economical scale. And with all that being said, you're also getting access to this world-class lithium land base or production agreement, which represents approximately 430,000 acres of land within excess of 1,300 wells that are currently in production. And there's where you can actually see the lithium concentrations in the neighborhood of 100 to 121 milligrams per liter in this muskeg formation. So when you take into consideration the fact that Volt Lithium is looking to be the first company into production, they've got this world-class asset with access to over 99 billion barrels of lithium-infused brine in the province of Alberta, which is a very friendly jurisdiction. Plus, they've got that proprietary DLE technology and some of the comparable valuations or stakes that have been given to companies for similar technology. And on a macro scale, you've got a ton of investor attention focused on the lithium space. I really think this story starts to make a lot of sense and has a lot of different catalysts all going for it at the right time. And if you actually look at some of the comparables in the industry, whether we're talking about E3, Standard, Lake Resources, or Lithium Bank, you can see that Volt Lithium essentially is tied for the lowest market cap of the bunch with some of the highest lithium concentrations on their property, again compared to Lithium Bank or E3 Lithium, and the fact that they're already further along in that pilot project stage. So for those reasons, you guys, I would definitely encourage you to start your own due diligence on Volt Lithium if you haven't already. A great place to start is actually on the Energy Prospectus Group YouTube channel. You can see a webinar hosted by Volt Lithium. They go through the deck that we used in today's presentation and answer some great questions towards the end. If you're still watching at this point, I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts and or questions in the comment section below. I'll do my best to try and get those answered. If you're not currently subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to join. And again, make sure you hit the like button on the way out. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.